we've updated the pi i've done a reboot that's just a sudo reboot now command i'll put that on the information on the website so i'm going to install apache there are other um web server solutions you can use i started with apache I, i've got to know it and understand it so i'm going to stick with apache so we'll go ahead and put apache in um, so we use the command sudo We use the command sudo at get install Apache 2, and we'll say yes. And it'll go ahead and do that install for us. This one doesn't take too long, it's quite a light piece of software. There's lots of extensions for it. Once we've done the Apache install, we'll go ahead and put uh, Python PHP on there as well. I'm going to give it the time to do it so that hopefully I can um, show you how to test that it's there as well. It doesn't, as I say, it doesn't take too long this. So I'll have a sip of rum and coke you have a coffee if you prefer it i'll stick with the rum as they say the dark restorative so that's in we're going to restart the service so we're going to do a sudo service apache 2 restart just to check it's in there if i open a web browser and I'll try and put the top of the web browser into this little box I've opened for a screen recording if I just type in there the IP address of the Pi I should see this default page and that tells me that the Apache service is in there now and up and running so that, that's it we've installed the apache service we'll go ahead and we'll install the php service and that is sudo apt install php and again we'll put yes and that'll go ahead and install php there's a couple of modules that will be missing from the python script that we'll need later on for WordPress for the editor that you use called Elementor and that's the XML package and the curl package this command is going to install the latest version uh, latest image of PHP which is 7.4.33 um, so we're going to we're going to go ahead and install when this is finished XML and curl and later on on the website i'll show you how to put another piece of software called php my admin that allows you to manage databases within the web server that's not important at, th at this stage in terms of making it live so we can ignore that for now but i will show you the xml what i found when you come to install xml is that the image that it downloads by default is is an older image than the current package um, but you have to install that one before you install the later one because it misses some dependencies it throws up an error on the WordPress website so what we'll do is sudo apt get XML so sudo apt get install PHP XML let it get on with that very quick that yes we want to continue and that'll put that in if later on we find that Elementor doesn't like that when we get to WordPress then that's fine we can we can we can do a command just sudo apt get install php7.4.xml 
Um, it changes all the time that, so I'm not too worried about it. I know the version is 7.4. If you needed to check what version of PHP you're running, you can just run a command PHP dash version. Depends when you're watching this, you know, in the next week or in the next two years. So we're running version 7.4.33. So I can now do sudo apt get install php 7.4 dash curl and that'll go ahead and install that let's say those those, those two bits um, are not necessary to operate a web server but they are necessary if you want to operate a web server using the mysql database and the wordpress website which is what i'm explaining on this website so that that's done that and we can move on to the next stage